Hello everyone, how you doing? I thought I would cover a topic today that I find interesting. If you've been trying to get fast alternate picking down, you've ever searched it, the proper way to alternate pick or whatever, um, you might see things where it says, do not use your elbow. Do not pick with an elbow mechanic. You'll damage your arm and you'll be maimed for life. You know, um, well, I'm here to tell you that I've been playing since 1984. 382 are using more of an elbow technique and my arms fine um, I don't wear out or feel any problems with it at all how I developed my technique was that I initially started playing and I was playing a lot of like Van Halen and Deep Purple and Randy Rhodes and doing a lot of hammer on pull off stuff and playing all of the Van Halen stuff and the Randy Road stuff um but then I heard Ingve. I was trying to play his lines and I could my hand left hand was pretty good but I just couldn't get my right hand up to speed and I bought a Guitar World magazine one day and I looked down and I noticed that Ingve had his hand on the guitar what the time I played free floating I told him my pick or I put my hands on the guitar but instead of tilting my pick forward my pick kind of went back and it kind of locked my wrist so when I went to do the motion, the motion ended up more from the elbow. But the cool thing was that once I got the speed up, then I could play the, my left hand could already do the lines. And I could, I could pick fast and it, it was immediate and I just a matter of getting control and cleaning it up. And at the time I wasn't aware, wow, I'm picking from the elbow, you know. It wasn't until I saw Vinnie Moore do a clinic in 1986, I think, or 87. Um, I've been playing that, and people would say, oh, you know, you use an elbow when you pick. And I saw Vinny, and he was just amazing. He was playing all this cool stuff, and I seen him full elbow. Well, I felt validated, and I thought, this is great. I can go ahead and keep pursuing this because Vinny's amazing, and if he's amazing, then I can do it too. And that's what I did. And what I kind of do is that my wrist is kind of back. Um, if you go to Cracking the Code with Troy Grady, who's an amazing guitar player and picker and a really nice person, um, there's a lot of information on there about motion mechanics. And I really recommend you go there. And I'll put a link in the description. Um, but he calls it reverse hockey stick, I think, because my hand kind of, you know, instead of looking like that, it's like this. I could be wrong on a terminology. And by locking my wrist, it just, my arm just kind of floats. It's not, one thing I'm not doing is I'm not squeezing my arm. I'm not like flexing my bicep. You know, if I do that, then it kind of wears out. I'm just moving the pick. And the motion just happens to be coming from my elbow. I feel it more in my pick. Another thing I do is I glide in my little finger. And it kind of uh, keeps my pick the same height. So my pick doesn't go lower. I just move my arm and glide in my little finger. My other fingers are kind of fanned out. get going and I'm playing live I just get into that I can really get tremendous speed that way um, and it's pretty effortless and I like I said if you do too much of anything if you sit around and do something like for crazy amounts of time you're gonna wear out but uh, I never had any problems um, I can play long lines and play for hours and and a couple of the advantages of it is that I don't have to change anything. I can just keep everything the same. I just lock my wrist and I just cross the strings the way I have my line set up. The way I do it is this, my lines are set up that I'm, I'm going to a higher string a lot of times with an upstroke and going to a lower string with a downstroke.
my technique kind of changes when I go slower. Um, it tends to be a little more rotational or if I'm playing like blues licks because of um, just the motion of two strings feels different than three. But I, it's not something I have to think about. I just go in and out. Um, one thing I noticed that I do a lot of is I play medium tempos a lot, like jazz guys do. Um, not the jazz feel or anything like that, but just the, that speed. And um, I might use a little bit more rotational and then I'll just weave in and out of the arm and I don't really think about it. I just wanted to talk about this because if if you find you can only get your pick one with your elbow and part of you feels like it's not right I think it is okay um, I'm here to tell you it's okay uh, maybe try pursuing it and just try to not to squeeze your arm when you're doing it and just let the motion happen naturally and one note per string stuff works good where I'm going down and up Vinnie Moore did a lot of those lines back in the day. My arm's just kind of going like that. And if you use your wrist, that's great. I still use my wrist too, especially when I'm muting. But usually when I'm doing the quicker tempo, long line stuff, it's elbow. So anyway, I hope that helps and um, use whatever motion mechanic you can is so, uh, the only point I'm trying to make. Um, in the end, it's about the music. It's not how we make it. It's what the music is. So good luck and uh, have fun picking.